Hey everyone, my name is Maya, and welcome to a Rami series where we talk about anything and everything, or we're just open and honest about it. In this week's episode, I'm talking about toxins that you can find in your nail polish. You guys, I've been shopping for nail, I'm 24, so I've been shopping for nail polishes since I was in my young teens. And I not once have looked at signs, not once have looked at chemical or chemicals or ingredients in my nail polishes. I've always just gotten the color because I thought it was cute and I put it on my toenails or my fingers. So I learned a couple weeks ago when I was shopping at Ulta, um, in Ulta, Walmart, Target, um, Sephora, no not Sephora, another place I can't think of at the moment, they have the new Sally Hansen Pure Nail Polish. And my mom was like, these are toxins free. And I'm like, toxin free, what do you mean? And I learned that some nail polishes carry toxins that are toxic for us. Uh, for example, formaldehyde that you use to preserve bodies is in some nail polishes. And if you look at your ingredients and you see that's one of the chemicals, that's considered a toxin. And there's some other ones too that I'll get into in a minute. And I was like, what the heck? I was like, I have to go through all my nail polishes to see which ones are good and which ones aren't, and I have to throw those out. Um, and so I did go through them, and I threw out the ones that have, I've had for five to ten years. Um, they didn't have the chemicals that I were looking that I was looking for, but it was just dried out. Um, share with you all that go through your stuff and make sure that you have your be the best nail polish around. So, what are these chemicals? You may ask. So I'm just gonna read them off here, and I'll, and I'll have a list here. But Five Free contains no formaldehyde, Tulane DPP, formaldehyde resin, and camphor. Those are the Five Free. The Seven Free contain no formaldehyde, Tulane DPP, formaldehyde resin, camphor, ethyl toslamide, forgive me for my pronunciation, and xylene. Nine Free is formaldehyde, Tulane DPP, formaldehyde resin, camphor, ethyl toslamide, exylene, parabens, and acetone. And then 10 free uh, after acetone is TPHP, TBHP, and gluten. Um, so those are, and it, some go up to 14. Um, really, if you really just want to just make your own nail polish at this point, you'll know what you're putting in them. But um, so I learned this and I was like, what the heck? I never paid attention to the signs. And so now what I did was when I go to Ulta, they have the signs that says nine free of toxins or seven free of toxins or uh, pure or it doesn't have this in it. And I was like, I've never paid attention to that. I've always just looked at the colors, saw, oh, okay, this costs $9. Do I want to pay for it? Yes or no. And if not, I put it back down. And if I do, I, I purchase it and I call it a day and I just paint my nails. But I've learned so much. So now what I've done is I have gone through the ingredients, um, looked at each one to make sure it doesn't have the toxins in it. And if it doesn't, I've kept it. Okay, some nail polishes that I that are good and have are free of some toxins. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. I am just sharing you sharing with you guys my thoughts. So this is Essie. Um, we all know Essie, and they just came out with a new line called Expressie. Um, and this is like a mustard color. It's actually called Taxi Hopping. So that's this, and this is called Yes I Canyon. I was looking for a fall color, orange, and so this is the closest I could find. Until now, they have the orange that I was looking for, and I'm like, well, I needed that one, but it's fine. And so S is really good. They are seven free of toxins, I believe, um, and they are great. So you're good to purchase those. Pacifica is seven free of toxins, and I have the temple color, which is a light peachy color. And I also use, um, and this is another SC one, this is a treat and color strengthener. My nails tend to chip, so this is really good to strengthen your nails. Um, OPI, I did some research on OPI and I found that they don't have the toxins. I would say up to between five to seven, they're free of the toxins that I mentioned. Um, and I like their brand. I don't think, you know, nothing harsh or bad on my end in, in terms of using these but I like their natural base coat I did check the ingredients at the bottom and I didn't find the chemicals that I was looking for um, in here so this is really nice this is the uh, natural base coat It's really good if you're 
into painting nails and you really care about your nails, it's good to paint them with the base coat. It protects your nails from yellowing. If you're really a frequent nail painter, you want to make sure you have it protected and then you can paint your color and then top it off with a top coat. And I love OPI's matte top coat. It, I love a matte look and it's very velvety and it's a nice finish for me and I enjoy that a lot. Uh, so those are the ones I kept. Um, LA is also free of the chemicals, five to seven. Um, and I love their gel color. This was um, at Walmart and it is a nice gel finish. It stays on for me for a week and it's really nice. There's no UV light needed, so if you're looking for a gel finish, you can check out LA. Sally Hansen was also uh, free of the 5 to 7 chemicals. Um, and so this one is the Complete Salon Medicure, or Manicure. Uh, it has a top coat, strengthener, base coat. It has all the things in one nail polish. So this is um, black and blue. I love this one if it's like an ocean color. Um, I also have the Insta Dry, and this is the Grease Lightning, a grayish tone. Love this one as well. Um, and then um, some other things that I use. I use the Ultra Growth with Aloe uh, to grow your nails. So if you're looking for another strengthener, I got this in Chicago, but um, Walmart, Target, Sephora, Sephora, and Ulta, and other places too that carry nail polish. You can find some strengtheners by Sally Hansen that are really good and moisturize your nails. Also free of the chemicals as well. I looked that up. I have another Sally Hansen strengthening top coat. Um, I've been using the matte one lately, but this is really nice um, for a nice finish. I find that my nails last longer um, more than four days and it doesn't chip um, after a couple of days. So this is really good too, the Sally Hansen strengthener top coat. This one I got at Target. This is a, a cuticle oil. This really helps to keep your nails moisturized. You can do it every day. You can do it once a, uh, you can do it once a day. You can do it once a week, um, but preferably once a day so your nails can stay moisturized. Your cuticles can stay moisturized. It's really great and also free of chemicals as well. So those are the ones that I found were great. The free of the five to seven chemicals. Now, like I said, you have nine and ten free. You got fourteen free. Do your research. Find out what nail polishes that would be best for you, um, and they'll tell you a, a good list of those that are natural, um, as close as being natural as possible. So um, the ones that were not on the list uh, of free of chemicals was um, Ulta Beauty. But while it's not free of chemicals, I can find that I can paint these with my toenails, and I got this for Christmas last year. So. Um, no, Christmas a couple months ago, not last year. Well, yeah, it is last year. No, we're in 2020 now. Hello. Um, yes, I got this last year, and I love Ulta Beauty's uh, line of colors, so I can keep this and paint this with my toenails, and I'll be fine with that. I enjoy wearing press-on nails, and so I found that the Impress line is really, really good. Um, it doesn't require glue. You just stick it on your nail, and depending on how often you wash your hands, um, it will last you a week. If you um, don't wash your hands often or your hands are not in the Now, if you wash your hands but you're not in the water often, which I don't know, I guess, I don't know. It will last you longer. And I've watched videos where the girls were like, oh, my nails lasted me two weeks. Well, I mean, you weren't really putting your hands much in the water. So I wash my hands a lot. And so these last me a good week and I'm okay with that. There's so many nails in here. There's 30 nails, including the six accent nails, which are these ones that have the uh, the jewel on them. So I like them, and every now and then I'll put them on, and those are my nails for the week. So a look into my nail world. So what does this mean for you all? So you have options. You can go through your nail polishes and go through each one and figure out which one's good for you that you feel you want to keep. If you look online and you find a list of the nail polishes that are great to use, you can go and shop for those only. Um, you can keep your nail polishes and kind of pick and choose where you want to paint your nails, your toes or your fingertips. If you're okay with that, that's up to you. But at least you're aware um, of these chemicals that are in here because we have to know what we're putting on our skin. We have to know what's going on in our bodies because we don't want to get sick eventually down the road. We don't want to be unhealthy down the road. We want to stay healthy. We want to stay um, you know, kept up and put together. So, um, yeah. So the next time you're in the store, 
Look for those signs that says seven free, nine free, five free. And those would be the really good nail polish. So Sally Hansen again has their Pure Line, Pacifica's really good, SE, OPI, Sally Hansen, LA Colors, as well as many others I didn't mention. One was Piggy, Piggy, what's it called? Piggy Paint, Zoya, um, Sun Coat, Honey Bee. I haven't heard of some of those except for Zoya. I've heard of Zoya. Um, the other ones I haven't heard of before. But check them out. Look them up. Um, so I hope you keep painting your nails and your toes as well. Keep showing off those colors and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.